Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Today I'm going to teach you how to record sales receipts in QuickBooks Online. If you don't already have your own subscription to QuickBooks Online, you can get one for 50% off for three months by clicking the link below this video. So let's get started. First, let's talk about what a sales receipt is. A sales receipt is going to be the way you record revenue upon receiving a check immediately for services or products. So if the customer shows up, you provide the service, they pay immediately, that's when you issue a sales receipt. That's different than issuing an invoice. An invoice, you're recording the revenue, you're going to send the customer an invoice and they'll pay it at a later date. So if you're receiving payment at the same time as your services or product is being provided, we're going to issue a sales receipt. So let's do that. In your left menu bar at the very top we can click new and then let's select sales receipt under customers in the first column. This will look very similar to your invoice form if you've previously issued invoices. So the customer has currently received this service they're now paying and so we are going to choose a customer let's just say Aaron um, all the information pre-filled in. Um, all we need to do is select his payment method. Let's say he paid us with a check. And we are going to deposit that check. But rather than show the check being directly deposited into our checking account, we're going to save it into what we call our undeposited funds account. It's very important that anytime you receive multiple checks in one day that are going to be deposited as a lump sum that you in QuickBooks show them as first being deposited to your undeposited funds and then we'll move them as a lump sum from undeposited funds into the checking account and what this does is combine the check amounts together to show a single deposit in your check register so that when you reconcile to your checks checking account statement it'll match perfectly so we'll I'll show you how to deposit the undeposited funds as soon as we record a couple of sales receipts. So Aaron is paying us with a check. We'll just say it's check number 1000. We'll say the service date is just today. We'll say that we sold him some bath and vanity fixtures for $25. Okay, now notice we have an awful lot of options here that we're not filling in right now. Um, depending on your needs, these are all options you can use to track your sales receipts and sales in general. If you want some of these and they're not showing up on your sales receipt screen, then you need to go in and you need to change your company settings. Um, you can learn how to do that along with many other things uh, by Googling Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online Tutorials. We have a series of 46 of these free tutorials. So we've recorded the $25 sales receipt to Aaron. Let's go ahead and save and new. So we can do a second sales receipt. Uh, let's say now Adam came into the store. He also paid us with a check. And we'll say his check was 1200 Again, we're making the deposit not to our checking account, but to undeposited funds. So the service date was today. And we sold him a bathroom sink for $125. Okay. Um, if we want to print it, we can come over here and say print or preview. and this will give us a preview of what it's going to look like. If you want it to look somehow differently you can customize the form and again we have another Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online tutorial that tells you how to go in and customize your sales forms and so you can customize invoices and you can customize sales receipts separately. You can have them look like your invoices or you could have them look completely different from your invoices but this is where you can choose the templates that you've created. Okay, so we are going to now say save and close, or if we're going to email it, we could say save and send. We're just going to close them, um, but now we've recorded two sales receipts. Okay, and that's all there is to it, to recording sales receipts, and then you can either print them, as I showed you, or hit click and send, and it will email them to them. Um, now that we've recorded the sales receipts, we've moved the checks into our undeposited funds account, now we need to make a bank deposit. 
So we're going to go to New, and we're going to go to Bank Deposit in the other column. Okay, and now notice that our two checks we just recorded today are in our undeposited funds account. So we're going to choose the checking account. We're going to make the deposit. We're going to make the deposit today. And we can see multiple checks down here. So Adam, this check came in today for $125. We want to deposit it. Aaron paid us $25 today. We want to deposit that. And we can also see that we also made, we made a couple other sales to Aaron back on March 25th. Well, those checks are still sitting in our desk drawer. And now we're going to combine them with the checks that we've received today. And we're going to make a total deposit of $242. And the reason, again, that we that we have to run this deposit through our undeposited funds account before we put it into our checking account is so that it combines all of these checks into one number. If we did it, if we did the sales receipts being deposited directly to the checking account, we would show four different deposits. Well, on your checking account statement, it's only going to show the one deposit. So if you do that, it's going to make it very difficult to reconcile your check register in QuickBooks Online to your checking account statement. So that's why we're using the undeposited funds account. So we're making a deposit April 5th to our Chase checking account. We're depositing these four checks for $242. Save and close. And there we go. We've recorded our deposit of $242. It'll now be simple when you go to reconcile your bank account. Well, great. Thank you. That's all there is to recording sales receipts in QuickBooks Online. Please check out our other QuickBooks Online tutorials by Googling Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online Tutorials. Thank you.